Hey, um, I haven't really been making a lot of videos over the last month, but this is just like a short, uh, very short video, I guess, where I kind of go through what I have been, with the videos I had made in the last month. So I made one, two, three, four, five, six. I made six of them. Uh, the first, and this is not including the channel recap of the last month of July. So in August, I made my first video was a short um, introduction to the books I was reading at the moment. And back then, I was starting to read Schopenhauer, um, Carl Jung, and William H. Uh, Bur William S. Burroughs. Um, I'm almost done with all of those books, and I'll have some more to say about them in future videos. Uh, after that, I made a video, um, let's see, a review, James Ferraro's Farside Virtual, of those who are unfamiliar with Farside Virtual. It is a Vaporwave album, one of the first um, major Vaporwave albums, um, and James Ferraro has really, really kind of been riding the coattails of his success following that album through the rest of the you know, 2010s. It's, a, it's traditionally not necessarily seen as one of the best examples of, of Vaporwave, but I found it very fascinating to just see what some of the early versions of it sounded like, and I did greatly enjoy the album, although I have to admit I haven't really listened to it too much after that. But from the experience of it on its own, it's very interesting how it kind of um, uses a lot of different kinds of sounds coming from modern technology, such as computer um, sounds, such as Windows um, stuff, and it kind of creates this retro-futuristic vibe of sorts, which I guess is one of the main uh, things that Vaporwave really differentiated itself with um, in the 21st century. It's kind of a genre in its, of its own. Next, I made a video in which I contemplated whether college education it was worth it, and that was just based on my own personal experience of college, and uh, to summarize that video in a sentence or two, what I said was that I felt that it was worth it to the degree to which you really make the most out of what you want it to be. It's kind of a weird way, to, I guess, to articulate it. But for me, for example, I thought that college was some avenue for me to be able to learn a lot of different kinds of things. And in my experience of college, I was able to learn lots of different kinds of things and things I was interested in. And it wasn't really particularly, I didn't let myself be thrust into the natural experience of, of, feeling like I was obligated to do sort of to take certain classes I didn't feel comfortable with or all these different things. I just, I did things out of my own kind of will to some degree and I enjoyed it. And I met lots of cool people and to that degree that which I was, you know, hoping to get that, I was hoping to get that out of college and I did get that out of it. Although in further respects, that was what I thought about college in itself, but as of a, as of an, an investment, as of, as college as a financial investment, I think it's not worth it. Next, I kind of made a short review on William H. Burr, William S. Burr, I keep saying H for some reason, William S. Burr's The Junkie, which is his novel, which I kind of talked about earlier, one of the books I was reading at the time at the start of the month. It is a novel of about a, you know, a junkie of sorts who, in the early 20th century in New York City, well, mid-20th century, is around the 40s of sorts. Uh, it's about the, the New York scene of the drug uh, drug users and drug smugglers and all of that and it's very fascinating to just see the ways in which William Burroughs articulates the experiences of this very particular sect of experience you know and I learned a lot about it um, and I thought it was very fascinating to which he really has really describes the effects of different kinds of drugs and the different ways in which they are handled and treated and um, peddled I guess and it was you know while I may not have had as much experience in if any experience at all with certain, with the drugs that are you know that William Burroughs kind of articulates and talks about in the book, I did enjoy it as a fiction and in the, in and of itself. Which, although I think the book is kind of an autobiography, though you know I don't know too much about all of that. But I did like the book; it was fun to read. Next, I talk about Crazy Rich Asians, which I don't really want to get too much into. You know, it's uh, I don't think I don't usually make videos like that on on this um, kind of I don't really think I don't really think too I don't try to think too much like this in the many videos that I kind of make on the channel. Usually it's just more of, um, I don't necessarily enjoy having like a negative perspective going into a kind of thing, but I just, I found some of the parts of, I, th I found some of the marketing for the film to be um, things that I didn't find palatable perhaps with, with the actual nature of the film, which is fine, you know, it's a movie. It's it's fun movie, I would recommend seeing it. And then I kind of had like a bit of a, 
lull period, so I just watched a lot of TV. I spent a whole week just watching Nathan for You, uh, which is a television show that is about a, a guy who tries to get the different kinds of businesses to uh, play into his absurd ideas of how to for how they could possibly make more money. And it's a fun show to watch, and it's a uh, deal to a lot of the humanity of things and the extent to which we will try to make more money on at the expense of the well being of others if it guarantees some kind of profit. I think it's very fascinating just studying human nature. That's kind of what I did um, last month. I only did a couple of videos, but I did enjoy and I did put a lot of thought into each one of those, so it's worth checking out, I guess.